my a lot of stuff around here has been getting outdated and or old and so this year already we've seen massive improvements correct my capture device someone donated a new one which i didn't even know would work with my stuff not only does it work it has monstrously improved my capture quality for my gameplay now i'm doing full beautiful no frame drop 60 frames per second video it's the best i've ever done you can pause any video I'm doing and see a beautiful still frame without pixelization and blurriness. It's amazing, right? I'm really happy that my visual quality and my gameplay has improved so well this year. My camera. <clears throat> Holy crap. This new 60 frame camera with much better detail and visual quality. What a huge upgrade. And now you can see everything in the background and all this stuff going on, right? So amidst all of these upgrades that are happening. Oh yeah, there's this one too. My Victrix joystick that I've been playing Street Fighter on, and it has upped my game, getting me to the highest ranked master level at, at, that I've ever had in Street Fighter VI, correct? So, I mean, literally, there's been improvements all around, everywhere, right? Which has been amazing. <clears throat> so, the next logical step is going to be to get off of my 10-year-old PC and get to a new one. Because this PC is starting to have some issues. Half the fans have died on it. Okay? One of the hard drives is having some issues with the sector where I keep getting corrupted videos. And I can't figure out how to, like, separate that so it doesn't keep happening. Um, and a few other things. Like, so it gets noisy sometimes. And, you know, it's just old. And you get to a point 10 years down the road, you want to do a, a, a transition or an upgrade to something better. Now, I cannot afford a new pc right now we've talked about this for years that a new pc to do all the things that i would probably want to do with it right would be very expensive now a new pc just for capturing and streaming wouldn't be so expensive right <clears throat> and so after waiting and waiting let's be honest last year i was going to get a new pc i was okay it was happening and then what happened well let's see uh, a bunch of stuff behind the scenes cost my, me and my wife a bunch of money. It was personal stuff. Can't talk about that. But then we had a tire and the entire tire assembly stolen off of our vehicle at the mall. Yes, that happened. I did a whole stream on it. Okay. We had our waste disposal break in our sink. And so things just kept happening over the course of last year that kept costing us tons of money. Okay. And because of that, all right, we just couldn't. I couldn't get a new PC. I couldn't do it. So this year, I had a plan. At some point during the year, all right, I was going to do a migration from my old PC to my wife's PC. Now, my wife has a gaming PC from 2017, all right? It was pretty good at 2017. It was it had good stats, good specs, and everything. Um, And it's been sitting over there in a room for like two, three years unused because she's become more of a console gamer. She was playing on PS4 and now she's playing on Xbox Series S. She likes the consoles. You know, the next step would likely be a PS5. So she likes gaming in the, in the living room. She really doesn't have any plans to go back to PC gaming at this point, all right? So it's just sitting there unused. And, you know, I even shared with you the stats of this PC a, a month or two ago. And said this would be a good upgrade you know i'll have a better version of windows i'll have a better processor i'll have a better graphics card i might even be able to encode at instead of 8, 1080p maybe 1440p which would be even a step up visually for my videos and streams on youtube um <clears throat> so fyi the whole idea was that i was supposed to do a pc transition this week i was supposed to migrate from this old pc to that pc all right. Now, FYI, this is on hiatus for a couple of reasons. Number one, I got sick. And when I got sick, it set me back streaming a day. And then I played catch up all week. And now I feel like just today, I feel like I'm finally caught up. You know what I mean? Like we're actually doing the React stuff on React day. So I'm already behind. <laughs> to be honest, I feel like this migration, okay, is going to be a stressful thing because I'm not just going to be like, oh, turn on my wife's PC, install, done. No, I have to get all the files that I use for streaming and capturing. This, the, All the borders, all the video files, all everything, all the setups in OBS, they all have to be transitioned over. 
that's a lot of file transferring. That's a lot of relocating. It's going to take hours and hours of work, if not days of work, okay? Because I predict issues. I predict I'm going to unplug stuff right now that I'm using with this PC. I'm going to plug it into hers, and some stuff's not going to work. And I'm going to have to troubleshoot and do have issues with it. It's not just going to be, boom, working, okay? So because of that, I wanted to do it this week, but then a lot of stuff happened. Number one, I got sick. The other thing that's happening right now, if you guys aren't aware, is the whole Kino Casino thing, where I'm going to be a guest on the Kino Casino show over on Kick on Tuesday night. During the time when I normally would be streaming here, instead I'm going to be on their show. <clears throat> and that's a pretty awesome thing to be a, you know, a guest on their show. And if that goes well, then we're probably going to do a collaboration regarding the Review Tech USA documentary that's coming out in a week or two. And then we're going to go from there, okay? So, um, with that also happening, all right, that already, so now I'm thinking, not only am I sick and I'm backlogged, I don't want to put myself through a lot of stress right now doing this conversion over to the new PC because then it's just going to cause a lot of stress and issues, but then also we got this other thing going on at the same time, right? I'm like, man, we just got all of this stuff going on. So essentially, here's the deal. At any moment, if I need to, I can do a transition from my existing PC to my wife's PC. And this will increase, you know, my capabilities. I might be able to start using this, the stream deck that I've had for years and couldn't use. I might have new things going on on stream, better quality, all this stuff, the whole nine yards. But I just can't do it right now. <clears throat> all right. I want to do it. But I can't do it right now. I don't have the time and it's gonna to be too stressful. All right. But we will do it. I will do it, you know, at some point. Will it be during the fall? Will I maybe wait till early next year? It might have to wait. It might have to wait till like late December or maybe January when things die down with games, and that's when I do it then. Okay. But the good news is it's no longer a situation where I'm like, oh no, at any moment this PC could die and I have no options. I can't stream or anything. No, it's, I could. All right, now I could set up on her PC and I could stream it just I wouldn't have my layouts or anything but I could still stream from there right so it wouldn't be the end of the world or anything it would just be you know I'd have to on the fly do the, the migration work you know so there you go <clears throat> okay so no freak out here or anything that's the migration will happen just not right now all right that's the announcement guys what i would have said if i were a tremendous jerk but no i actually do have an announcement today okay so <laughs> <clears throat> so <clears throat> excuse me so while all this was going on i just made the announcement what was it two three days ago i said to everyone i'm just not going to do the migration right now it's too much going on i'm getting over this this cold um the whole other thing is going on with the Kino Casino guys, it's like, let's let's just not do it right now, right? <clears throat> so I get contacted by someone. And they said, well, in light of what you just announced on your stream, you know, this kind of changes things. Now, I don't know what they were talking about. <laughs> like, well, here's the deal. Someone, all right, hold on, I got a burp. Excuse me. Okay. Someone has actually been waiting in the wings, all right, this year to do something. <clears throat> and this person has been waiting to do this for a very good reason, all right? Let me tell you a story, okay? Over the last 14 months, 13 months, that I've been playing 14 months that I've been playing Street Fighter 6 all right I've been having a lot of issues because I always felt like for some reason I was behind the eight ball with this game now it wasn't until recently that I got a new capture device right and I started playing the game at 120 
hertz, 60 frames, input delay removed, all things maxed out on my PS5 that I feel like I've eliminated the vast majority of input delay in Street Fighter 6 on my PS5. And since I did, if you didn't notice, I got a lot better at the game. I started playing at a higher level. I was winning matches in Master and rising in the Master ranking points, okay? So, yeah, um, I was kicking butt. And I'm like, damn, this is good. Still, though, you know, when I play against people who are on PC, you could say, well, they might still have a slight advantage. We don't know. Right, you don't know if the P the PC version must be the penultimate version, not penultimate, the ultimate version, because that's the one everyone's using who's a pro. Like literally every pro player plays this game on PC, right? And so, um, basically what happened was back on Friday, I played Street Fighter VI on my late stream Friday Night Fights, and all of a sudden, I realized. All master points have been reset. So I worked my butt off to get my bison to the highest rank possible that I have gotten him so far, which is like 1,600 some points. <clears throat> and climbing, I'm still on the way up, right? And then they reset everything. And that really upset me. It did because I worked hard to get that high. And for them to just hit the reset button and get me back to square one is a very frustrating thing. So when that happened, Someone contacted me and said, here's the deal. This person is a longtime viewer and fan who has been looking to do something for a while. They were actually waiting for me to do the PC transition, the PC migration from this PC to my wife's PC. And then they were going to contact me <clears throat> about this. But I recently said, well, I'm not doing that anymore. Okay. In addition, they saw that these master points basically reset. All right. Getting me back to zero, essentially, square one, starting over at master rank with all of my characters in Street Fighter VI. And so, in light of the fact that I'm not doing the migration and all my master points reset in Street Fighter VI, they contacted me with an offer. An offer to donate a gaming PC. Okay, now <clears throat> let's let's clarify some things. Okay, this is not a used, outdated gaming PC that's been sitting around that probably has back doors and key loggers installed on it that they decided to send to me. That was a different situation entirely that we will not talk about today because that's not the situation. This is an actual PC that will be brand new purchased from a reputable business and sent directly to me. <clears throat> okay? <laughs> so it's just a slightly different situation from a previous one that I was offered, supposedly, because I wasn't really even offered that either. But, you know, that's neither here nor there. So, <clears throat> in regards to this, they said, I would like to get you a PC... And here's some suggestions. And I looked at the suggestions. And basically, I went back. I, I know a couple of people who are into PC building and modding and everything. And they understand what's good and what's not. And basically, I went back and forth with this very generous viewer for a day or two about this. Like, here's, you know, here's what we would want. Here's how we would do it, blah, blah, blah. And then finally, so here's what we figure out, right? I'm like, you know... We should probably get it off of a website that has, like, the best value, right? And basically the website was going to be, like, Newegg. You ever go to Newegg? Great website for, for getting PCs and PC components and stuff like that. But I guess what happened was we kind of agreed on, like, what, I, I, I was, what, what would be good. And they were going to get it. And then all of a sudden, they emailed me yesterday and said, So FYI, I ordered you a PC. But... FYI, it's not from Newegg. I was like, what? Why not? They said, well, Newegg, I guess it would have been difficult because, you know, they're not shipping it to themselves. They're shipping it to me. I live in a private community. In order to deliver here, you need specific instructions on how to access this community and get into it. And it's not easy. You actually have to jump through hoops. Delivery people here 
can have a hard time getting in. So he's like, I tried to do it and it just seemed like so complicated. And the fact that they were probably going to have to co either contact me or you to get this thing delivered. He said, forget it. So I got you something else. He said, what? I mean, he got me something else. Like we were talking about this, this particular model. He's like, no, I got you something else. It's even better. And I got it off Amazon and Amazon delivers to you. I know because you got your Victrix joystick, you know, does, uh, delivered and other things delivered. So I know that they're going to deliver to you. No problem. And by the way, it's on the way and it's coming on Monday. What? <laughs> it's on the way and it's coming on Monday. Yes. I was like, what? Okay. <clears throat> well, I wasn't expecting that. I thought we were just talking it out, right? And we would talk about, you know, when it could be purchased and delivered and everything. And I was like, no, it's coming on Monday. It's going to arrive at your place on Monday. And I was like, what? So the guy sends me the information on the PC. And I'm looking at it and I'm like, first of all, to be clear, this is not a $5,000 gaming rig. This is not an insane over-the-top thing. You know what I mean? It's not some enthusiast rig. It's, you know, but it's ridiculous. This thing, the components that are in it are quite good. And this guy decided to buy me this weird build. <laughs> Let me put it this way. There's a PC that's built for use. And then there's a p PC that's built just for flashiness, okay? I would argue this PC hits somewhere in the middle because it has really good components in it for gaming, but at the same time, it also looks really unique and weird, all right? <clears throat> yes, Joe, Joe Man just says RGBs on RGBs. This thing has crazy RGBs, which I don't know if I'm even gonna be using. Do I really want distracting RGBs on a PC over there that I'm going to have right? It's going to sit right there next to my entertainment center. Okay, it's going to sit right there on the floor. Okay, so do I really want ridiculous RGBs of crazy strobing rainbow lights? Or Of course, it comes with software that you can customize your RGBs. So I can make it any color I want. I can make it purple, green, blue, red, orange, white, you know, anything. Do I really want that? I don't know. You know what I mean? Like, I think it's going to be distracting as hell. If I have it on, you might actually see it on my face and everything, right? If I'm playing here, you might see RGBs shining off my face and everything. <clears throat> so I'm not sure to what extent I'm going to be using the insane RGBs in this thing. Okay. But also, not only that, all right, but it's got basically the case itself is, a, is like an oddity. <laughs> It's like, this thing is a conversation piece. Let's put it that way. It doesn't look like a normal PC. It doesn't. It looks, you're like, you're looking at like, you know, you go, you go to like a museum and you're in a museum and there's a piece of art and you're looking, you're like, you get set back for a second. You're like, hmm, let me ponder this art. Let me see what I can feel about this. I'm not sure what it is yet. Let me just sit here and stare at it for a little bit and try to figure out what this is. I mean, that's literally like what this thing is. It's just a wild computer. All right, to the point where, <clears throat> let me put it this way. It's, it's like minimalist design. They did it on purpose. <clears throat> but for use, it doesn't really translate into ease of use. So it's one of those that has like such a unique, weird case that like a lot of the attachments are inside of the case for, for like wires. So you have to like take panels off to plug all your shit in and then you have to do cable management so the wires permanently come out the side of the case so you it's not even like you would be unplugging replugging ever you have to leave everything plugged in permanently because you don't want to keep opening and closing your case you know what i'm saying but then once it's set up the thing is going to be like gorgeous you know what i mean like it's going to look really nice and i'm not going to have to mess around with cables or anything ever it's just going to work pretty endlessly um <clears throat> so it's literally the opposite of my current PC. My current 10-year-old PC looks ugly. It's a big, it looks like a big block of coal, like a big slate, right? And it's got ports and stuff on it, but it's it's it was always loud. The fans were always loud and everything on it. Like this one is meant to be quiet, insanely temperature efficient, 
with its cooling and everything. It's supposed to be a stylish looking PC that's built to look nice, but also perform very well in gaming situations. Okay. So what's what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it over there. I'm going to basically whatever cardboard you know, it's going to come with a giant box. I'm just going to carve like a big chunk of that cardboard out. So it sits on something on the floor over there because you don't ever want a PC sitting on carpet. That's a very bad idea. You need it to be on sitting on something flat so that it actually has air circulation under it. So I'm basically going to get a big, thick chunk of this cardboard from it. And I'm going to put it under it and put it right over there, right next to my entertainment center. Okay? So essentially, this will now replace my mini PC. I won't need my mini PC ever again. Okay? Um, and uh, basically, it's going to be a beast of a PC from what I understand. Because people are asking, what are the specs? Oh, I had them. Let me see if I have them here. Uh, okay, you ready? Here, here's some of the specs <clears throat> in this thing. Uh, an, an Intel or i7 14700KF processor. What the hell does that mean? I don't know. That's the processor. Okay? The graphics card. An NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4070 Ti Super. What does that mean? I don't know. What? I don't know. <laughs> what is that? Ti Super? Okay, then. <clears throat> All right. Let's see. Um, 32 gigabytes of DDR5 5600 MT per second RGB RAM. So 3,200 gigabytes of RGB colored RAM. Glowing RAM. Right? <laughs> sure. A 2 terabyte M.2 NVMe PCIe Gen 4 uh, SSD. It's, a, it's good to have a 2 terabyte SSD, I guess. Right? So, anyway. Um, Syndicator says the 4070 Ti can easily play most modern games at up to 100 to 120 plus frames at high settings. I have it. It's a beast. Hellion says, yes, those specs are really good. Right? Okay. So, here's the deal. All right? This PC has been ordered from Amazon and will be delivered tomorrow. All right. I'm going to be waiting for it to be delivered, obviously. And what's going to happen is this person's going to send me the tracking info and also give me updates on, you know, how many deliveries away it is from my house. Because it's a PC, I have to be here to accept the delivery. All right. It's an expensive item. I have to actually be here and accept it. They don't just drop it off and leave it on your doorstep. Okay. What brand and all that? You'll find out tomorrow. Tomorrow is going to be a crazy day because now tomorrow is completely different than what it was originally going to be. All right? So, uh, oh, no, I'm absolutely positively 100% sure this is real. This is someone who I trust. This 100% is happening. Okay? So, tomorrow's mainstream is waiting for this PC to be delivered. In the meantime, I will play some Street Fighter VI on PS5. So we'll kill time with Street Fighter VI waiting for the PC to arrive. So, so, so here's what we're going to do. It's going to arrive. When it arrives, I'm going to unbox it live. I'm going to get it set up and working. I'm probably going to... Uh, you know what I can do? Is I can get it initially set up, but I have the ability to disconnect this webcam and walk it over to the other side of the office. Would you like me to show you what I mean? You ready for this? Get excited because I've never shown you this before. You ready for this? Here we go.
Uh, well, you know, I don't know if I want to do that. Oh, I could. Yeah. Okay, here, I'll show you. Ready? Yes, so my camp. Oh, I'm gonna have to fix that. My camera has the ability to be on a swivel tripod, it's on a swiveling tripod. I can swivel my camera all the way around to that setup and record while I set up the PC. Like, I can actually show you me sh setting it up live, and I can show you what it looks like when it turns on with the colors and everything because. This camera <clears throat> has that, okay? That, but pl plus, it has, this tripod has that. This tripod, it has what they call a gun grip, so it rotates around. So I can aim at this setup to do the whole thing, all right? Which is really cool. So now because I have a better camera and I have a good tripod, I'm able to show you the live setup of this PC, okay? By the way, I screwed this up entirely, I think I think my camera's auto adjustments turned on. Yeah, see, this is wrong. I think my camera's auto adjustments turned on again, which I didn't want. I think they did because I think it's auto focusing and adjusting again, and I don't want this. It's weird because it wasn't doing this before, and now it's doing this, and it's freaking me out. <clears throat> Ugh, hold on. It's supposed to be like this. That's straight right there. That's straight, and that's pointed straight at me. Okay. Yeah, see, the camera is auto-focusing. This is the weirdest camera. This camera looks for a, an area to focus on, like, like me, and then it auto-focuses and auto-adjusts on the fly. So with this, gun, with this gun grip tripod, I should be able to rotate around and literally be doing things over here with the setup of the PC, and you guys will be able to see it the whole time. So tomorrow, <clears throat> we'll, be, we'll do Street Fighter VI until the PC arrives, when the PC arrives, we'll do a live unboxing right here on DSP Gaming, okay? Then we will do... By the way, now, it looks, now I look crooked, don't I? Then we will do, um, obviously, testing and getting everything working. It's still crooked. I give up. It's fine, right? It looks fine. Okay, so FYI, um, this now I need to clarify a few things. Okay, this PC is for gaming. I'm going to repeat myself. This PC is for gaming. That's what the PC is for. This is why when I said this arrival of this PC is going to change all my content, this is very true. All right, it's going to change all of my content. Because I'm literally going to have the capability to play every game I want on PC moving forward, right? Any new game, I'll be able to do game, be honest. Street Fighter VI immediately is an upgrade. And in fact, the person who donated this PC has specifically requested that the day it shows up tomorrow, they want me to set it up and play Street Fighter VI on it. They want me to play Street Fighter VI, see how it looks, how it performs. Does it get rid of any additional input lag? They want me to play it on launch day here, or, or unboxing day, I guess I should say, setup day. They want me to play Street Fighter Six on it, okay? <clears throat> so, um, yes, the, of course the PC version. We, we're going to be playing Street Fighter Six on PS5 until the PC shows up. When it shows up, we're going to set up the PC, and we're going to play Street Fighter Six on PC. You understand? Okay? So it's going to be the best version of Street Fighter 6 available. There will be no more issues with dropped inputs or anything because I'm going to have the best version like all the pro players. 
There will be no more unfair advantage when I'm playing this game against people online. It will be even Steven. Okay? So I'm excited for that, obviously. All right? <clears throat> now, Hardcore Fan just says, wait a minute. Does that mean you have to regrind all your characters to master again? Yes. But guess what? It won't matter because they already reset the points. I think that's one of the reasons why this person decided to, do, to donate this PC now. Because I'm not losing anything in Street Fighter Six because I, they already reset the points. All I have to do is do my placement matches, get to like 5-star diamond, and just grind through 5-star diamond, which would take, what, a stream or two tops each character? It's actually not that big of a deal. <clears throat> it's just not. So I'm actually not too worried about it. I think with the level that I'm playing at, with characters like Dalzim, Honda, Bison, Blanca, I think I'm going to easily, easily get right back to Master within a stream or two of each character. We'll be there, and then we'll be climbing the ranks again. Okay? <clears throat> so, um, so that tomorrow's going to be nuts. Because tomorrow, the PC will arrive at some point during the live stream. I will do a live unboxing right here. We'll set it up. We'll get it working with Street Fighter VI. And then we're going to play Street Fighter VI. Basically, it's going to be crazy new PC set up Street Fighter VI day tomorrow. Okay? Now, obviously, what this means is that this now changes a bunch of stuff, right? It means, moving forward, a lot of new games I'm probably going to want to play on PC, right? For a perfect example here, this apparently, I think this PC is going to come with a free copy of Black Myth Wukong. So, if that's the case, obviously, I'm going to play that on PC with gamepad rather than on console, right? Um, Black Ops 6 coming out, Black Ops 6 beta. I, I'm going to get it because I have Game Pass Ultimate, so I have Game Pass on PC. So I'm going to get early access to the Black Ops 6 beta, and I'm going to be playing the PC version at the absolute highest settings with the highest frame rate, highest response rate possible on a gaming PC here with you guys at launch. <clears throat> okay? This is pretty insane when you think about it, all right? Now, already, this is what's funny. Already, I'm already getting a headache about PC gaming. Here's why. So I said to someone, oh, this is good because everyone's been talking about Fallout 4 London. I, maybe I could do that. And they said, oh, well, you'd have to buy everything. I was like, what do you mean? Oh, well, you have Game Pass, but the Game Pass version of Fallout 4 doesn't work with the London mod. You have to buy Fallout 4 off of, like, GOG.com for $45, and then you can install the London mod. I was like, wait, what? 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 <laughs> That's so stupid. <clears throat> right? So, <clears throat> I... I uh, so I can already tell you, day one, we're going to have issues. And the other thing is, again, with PC gaming, I, just, I need to forewarn my audience of this. I have been a console gamer for over a decade. The vast majority of games and things that I have played, all right, are console. The ease of use of console is tremendous for a streamer. I turn on my stream. We turn on the console. I boot the game. I'm playing the game. That is not going to happen with PC games. You're going to see what's going to happen. Even tomorrow with Street Fighter VI, I guarantee you, we're going to boot it up. It's going to look like shit. We have to tweak 700 settings. It's going to be like, what resolution? What, what refresh rate? What frame rate? Anti-aliasing? Ray tracing? There's going to be like 400 options, and we're going to have to fuck with those options for like an hour to get the game to run well. Once we get it, it'll be the chef's kiss, right? But that's PC gaming in a nutshell, is you have to sit there and fuck around, all right, with all settings on these games to get them to work. Half the time, these PC games don't work at launch. There's been an infamous amount of problems with PC versions of games at launch having tons of problems, and PC gamers up in arms again about it, and rightfully so. If you're paying the same amount of money as everyone else to play a video game, you should get the same quality. It shouldn't be... Oh, well, because I got it on PS5, it runs well, but you're on PC, you got fucked. The PC version sucks at launch, right? That's bullshit. That's not fair, but that's what happens with a lot of new games that are coming out on PC these days. So, yeah, ultimately, having this high-end gaming PC that I'm going to have, 
it's going to allow me to play games at great settings and everything, but it's going to take work. It's not like, oh, new game day, guys, just play it within a minute. It's going to be more like, boot it, oh, shit, it's crashing, we got to fuck with it here, and we got to do this, you know what I mean? It's just not going to be as easy. Now, does this mean that DSP is officially entering the realm of the PC master race? Well, I mean, to some extent, yeah, but it's kind of inadvertent, like, I didn't intend for this to happen. I wasn't buying myself a, a gaming PC. This is never intended, right? I was just going to migrate to my wife's PC. That was the only intention of PC upgrading I was doing this year. But now I'm literally getting a high-end gaming PC out of nowhere. And obviously, yes, I'm going to be, uh, I'm going to be using it. So the question is, now every new game that comes out. So Black Myth Wukong looks like I, I'm probably getting it for free on this PC. So obviously I'm playing that on it. That'll be our first major experiment with a gaming PC of a new release, how it works. Now we got to think, do I want to get Star Wars Outlaws on PC? Because you could get the EA Play subscription or EA Access subscription on there, right? So maybe I should get it on PC, right? There will still be games that I'll be playing on console. For example, Astrobot. When a big release is coming up in the next month or two, PS5 exclusive. I will absolutely be playing that on PS5, right? Um, I'm sure that there will be other examples of games, but admittedly, this may be a retiring of my Xbox Series X. If you really think about it, like all the games that I have on Game Pass, I can get on PC, right? Is there a single game that's Xbox exclusive, but not on PC? They're all cross-platform, right? So I might never need my Xbox Series X ever again, right? Is that true? I'm fairly certain, right? Because that's, and we've been talking about that too, that if you have a gaming PC, you never would need an Xbox, correct? There are games on Xbox that are not on PC. Can you give some examples? What would be some examples of that? I'm just curious because, you know, if, let me put it this way. If the PC works great, and most games I'm playing on PC and the ones I'm not, I'm playing on PS5 or Switch, then the, at the Xbox Series X will be retired. I'll probably, you know, maybe give it to my wife to use or something. You know, that way she's, she gets an upgrade from her Series S, right? <clears throat> yeah.